Okay, and also I'm make a value study. Okay, so value study is very important. So every joint you have to make a value study. Okay, value study. Uh, light, top down ceiling, and a lighting source from windows. Okay, <coughs> top, keep the white color. And also, <coughs> I tape down, I have watercolor paper. I tape down, okay, I tape down, <coughs> tape on here. Then I'm going to use a lighter box, lighter box to trace it. I may need to turn off this light. This light is not good choice, I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, trace it. I'm going to turn on the light. Okay, so now you can see I have light. Okay, I have lit behind behind that. So I use a 140 pound of watercolor paper. So this type of paper have no problem to trace it. 140 pound, make sure. Okay. Uh, I use cold press. Cold press paper. You can use hot press, cold press. I use a uh, O5 to trace. Trace it. So first, side by side. You can put a side by side for your for your drawing. Okay, side by side. Okay, I'm gonna trace. The first step, uh, just to trace uh, over a shape, freehand. Okay, freehand. You can freehand. Okay, and the detail. So this one, depending on style, this time I'm not going to use ruler. This is the detail. Structure. Okay, and also accessory. Do not ignore the accessory, okay? Maybe you cannot read the too many details, that's fine, okay? Just that we just realize something here. Four sets. Okay. Detail. This is a sink, a back, any accessory you can add it. Accessory can enhance your drawing, okay, do not ignore it. And a soffit, ceiling. Soffit, make sure edge. Do not touch the edge. Okay, give a little I'm going to take down later. Okay. Somebody coming. Okay. This is just the promoting. you know vanishing point I mark down vanishing point okay mark down vanishing points is it double or open Details when the treatment blind, depend on style. Okay, cross line when you trace it to make a cross line. Okay, and also this is a frame window glass panel. We make a double line. This is a contemporary kitchen.
Okay. And the seal window. Never ignore detail. Oh, here's the coffee, coffee, coffee machine. And we maybe get a trim, double line. Just outline. And here's a last class. I already gave you idea that I have a reference image for flower. Okay. I keep make it. Maybe glass base. Okay. And also the detail for. Double line, don't make it just look like one piece of paper. If you can make a double line, go ahead and make a double line. You can hear my voice, can you hear my voice? It's okay, my voice. Okay, wonderful. Detail. Trim. So this is just the trees. Spend time, okay. This step, if you need to spend uh, one hour, spend one hour. If you need a two hour, go ahead and spend two hours, okay. And the uh, toe cake, never even know detail. Anytime you can turn off the light, check it. Take a look at, okay. Okay, just keep working. Okay, go back, turn on the light. Floor, we just consider floor tile. Okay, floor tile. Just make it. Make sure this is needed to towards vanishing points. Vanishing points. Okay, so this is vanishing points. Never even know that. And also horizon line. I keep make it in case. Okay. Uh, and also light, light fixture, can light, okay, and also you still can ink it to add in any, any line here, okay, now overall, take a look at overall, I'm done overall, okay, so next step, okay, you are going to add punch line, okay, punch line, and also don't forget, somewhere, Add a line, okay, or oh. reflection. Not too many detail. Okay, so now I finish. You can see over tracing, over trace. Okay, I'm going to take a look. picture. Take one picture. Okay. I'm going to add the. Uh, use ink to add a shiny shadow you can. Okay, so now we're going to add more punch line. Punch line first, I'm going to use a 08. I use a 08. You can see 08, 08 to add more punch line. Let me double check. Typical overall shape we can make it stronger if you forgot a punch line that's fine okay you can add later you can add later don't be free I turn off the light I turn off the light okay Okay, absolutely. Here's maybe dark color, and also this part, which is a chair, the chair leg. Let me turn on the light. Maybe we're missing something. Line. Okay, turn 
of the light and also if you want to add more detail okay you can add it add it reflection absolutely this one received the reflection before I before uh, before the watercolor I'm going to add a reflection pre-add a reflection okay if this is if this is a uh, uh, how much your tile or how wood floor okay think about always receive the reflection okay random uh, reflection vertical line vertical stroke okay and also this part definitely is dark color I'm gonna add a dark color later okay so this is a uh, indicate the uh, toe kick okay and also here dark color also toe kick okay and also take a look at now I'm going to add a, this type of pencil this type of nothing ink this is I use Pento Pento okay Pento Pento one this is waterproof this is non waterproof non waterproof typical we can create some special effect. Typical, I apply to here. Take a look at really bold line. Here, bold line. Roll. I don't mind. And really dark line. Really dark line. Later, it will mix with the watercolor. Okay. And also typical underneath this one, maybe dark. I'm going to use highlight accessory underneath typical dark color. Okay, underneath object, strong shadow, strong shadow, and also more reflection. Yes, I can do it. More reflection. I go back to use a add a shading shadow. I add a little bit of shading shadow. I use number three. Steel, okay, stainless steel. Branch hood, okay, and also this is a this is a refrigerator, refrigerator, okay. Still stainless steel, absolutely. Trim double line, make stronger. Okay. with watercolor later here and also this is a coffee maker okay and also the strong shadow backslash okay this is a Faucets, okay, and some accessory reflection, reflection. This is not shed, this is reflection from the see here. This is a pot, I can make detail. This is a, the the wrench, depend on maybe gas, maybe the electrical. This time I use electrical. Okay, electrical gas. Absolutely, this part definitely later I'm gonna dark color here. Oh, by the way, 
turn on the light and you see that detail a little bit. If you hear, we see the shadow, shadow. Chair top received the shadow. So I pre draw that. And this is side which is a chair side. Okay. So this step you can spend time, spend as more time as possible you can. with a watercolor later. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going back to use a bold line. Match good. Okay, match good. So here's the dark, the dark value. Go ahead. Light and also this is open. This is open to leaning area. Yeah, we can. We can make a punch line. <clears throat> yep. Just to evaluate. No, no, no. Anyway, this one you can keep adding more details. light received we have a can light here can light and also exterior and I can make some structure line this is vertical soffit okay so this is a ceiling maybe eight foot high ceiling this part could be nine foot high okay nine foot high so nine foot high I'm going to make some structure line Freehand made this so you can see vertical, which is indicated socket. Okay, mid to vanishing points. Just random, make some line. Okay, and also this part, make a little bit of transition. So this is a top and a more reflection. Just random, apply some vertical straw. Reflection. Okay. Here's a double bottom one. I'm not sure too many detail. It's just background. Okay, background. Here, light received. Here's a still light light received. Here's the can light, okay, natural light. Receive the natural light and also receive the artificial light. Seems to look like even daytime we still can turn on the light, okay. Okay, and this is a sink. Stand still. You can add as more detail as you as you can. Okay, I think uh, I'm ready to move to next step. I'm going to move to next step. I'm going to transfer this one. If you're missing something, that's fine. If you're still missing ink, absolutely, you go can go back and add more detail later and more ink.
sense. Class detail. Oh, I love it. <coughs> Just random mix something. More detail for sync. to the next step almost. Okay. So leave it detail for window treatment. Glass. Structure line, just if you want a structure line, go ahead and more structure line. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next step. Remove this sheet. If you're missing something, that's fine. Okay, remove this tape and not take too much. Okay. transfer to this paper. This is your ruler. This is a, everything is freehand. Freehand now, this is a look like your sketch. You finish every week, this is a sketch, just a sketch. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to use another paper. I take down to another paper. Okay. Okay, first, I realize I want to make the next one. Uh, I will change to hardware for Hardware flow. And make a stripe. Make a big line. Just render and make a make a line. Hardware flow still comes with a reflection. If you're missing some detail, yes, you got it later. Don't worry about that. Okay. Little bit detail. Okay, so first, value. I always talk about value. Okay. Value, I did this value. Okay, value study. Value study, we can see light. Okay, yeah. natural light, typically receive the natural light, I'm going to use a little bit blue color. So this type of drawing, I, I mix a little bit light blue, light blue color. What I said this time, the color, I was 50%, just leave white, to be free, okay? Take a look, I blend a little bit blue, to the top a little bit, okay? in the water in the water and the received table top sometimes a little bit cool color a little bit cool blue not too many just touch a little bit then 
I'm going to add a value of salt and color. Uh, I use gray. I'm going to use, uh, use uh, you know, the uh, white cabinetry, hardwood floor. Then I'm going to find uh, the gray color, beautiful gray, gray color. But before I'm working for that, I try to make the background maybe warm temperature. So very light, light yellow. Okay. So take a touch a little bit white. No white is a little bit warm temperature. Okay. The background a little bit warm. And here I have a natural light, I have a artificial light. Okay. Print maybe yellow atmosphere. Then mix with a green color. Big brush. I use number number twelve brush. I use number twelve brush. Number twelve. Okay. Twelve. Number twelve can hold more pigment and hold more water. Okay. I have this gray color. I blend a little bit cool. The blue. I blend a little bit. Of Violet, a violet, or no violet, brown, brown, okay. I find a beautiful green color. Label warm, and a typical residential interior label warm temperature, so I blend a little bit of brown color, I test that. Okay. Let me cool a little bit down. If I need to cool, I blend a little bit blue. Okay, so now, so take a look, I'm gonna apply here. Blend water. This part is dark color. Okay. And also here, blend a little bit. And also wash it. Here is dark color. I'm going to add dark color later as well. Blend. And I'm not touch here, I will make here the even more darker. And I use the same color. I can apply here even more dark value. Okay. Now to this part, I'm gonna add later dark color. And as I move down, I use I what I say I'm going to use a, a warm color, other the, the the sorry not warm color the green color. Countertop I'm going to use a white countertop. So here, even more dark value. I, I need to find more dark. And put it in a warm temperature, wash down. The top just keep light color. Cabinet, cabinet top, even more dark value. Here, dark. Move down to light color. Prepare the paper top, a lot of paper top, okay. 
wash it. You stand still, you can apply later. Yeah. Stand still. And receive the reflection from bottom. I bring the level warm temperature. Take the cool color. Cool color for similar stainless steel. And leave a highlight. Leave a highlight. And also here a little bit of cool color. Okay. And also this part simulate dark value also. This is a kind of top deep white. This part is supposed dark color. Okay, first layer, then mix a little warm temperature. And a hot water flow, I will apply later. Okay. And also this part supposed dark color also. Maybe warm. And also the chair, maybe just a beige color. Beige. Floor. floor, we don't have a top up touch too much. I'm going to use a ballot to apply a little bit shadow. And also shadow on the chair top. So next step, I'm keep working. I'm going to apply the hardwood floor, the hardwood floor, which is a uh, yellow first. See, this is a black color. I leave the, I did leave the blend. Okay, and also I'm going to apply dark brown. Dark brown for reflection and a foreground. Foreground to be a little bit dark value. See here? Really dark. To the edge, a little bit dark also. Reflection. A bit dark. I put in the more value. Keep working. Okay. Somewhere I'm missing. I can add later. I'm gonna shoot one picture here. Okay. So now I got over value, and now I'm going to working for standing steel for the red hood. Red hood. Red hood, a little bit cool color. I blend, a little bit blue color. You can see blue hue, a little bit blue hue. I try to save this pigment. I'm gonna mix this for gray color. Okay. The typical here is a little bit dark value. Okay. Blend here a little bit light. And also, I say leave we leave a lot of white. Stand still. Under 
increase more dark value. Later, I'm going to use accent color, but not right now. Accent color later. This dark color. And mix with a warm temperature. Okay. And also keep working. I just keep working. I'm working for the accessory. The part. The warm temperature. And the stainless steel. This one. The detail. Okay. A little reflection for the countertop. Countertop, I said, just for the white marble. White marble, I just added some reflection. Reflection. So underneath the toe cake for cabinetry, absolutely that dark color keep working. So even right now I didn't use a table, I didn't use a, a heat gun. Something I want to blend. See, underneath cabinetry, absolutely dark color and more detail. This is a. Vent. Okay. And also, I'm gonna apply more detail for. This is a glass panel for double wall oven. And also, maybe reflection or the much reflection shadow. <laughs> shadow. So backslash, I try to use a gray color. So I never stop, just keep working. And this part should be dark value for the wall, typical darker than setting, what I said. So take a look at, I save this beautiful gray color, this palette, okay. Save this beautiful gray. Natural light to receive. Okay, natural light. And I also still receive the artificial uh, artificial light. I go back somewhere, like it here, and the second layer if necessary. Soft it, make it a bit dark value. Soft it. Okay, or soft it. Okay, next step I'm going to switch to. So, this is I use number 12. Next step I'm going to switch to I think number I can use number four brush. I use number four small brush. I'm not using number one, number two. I use number four now. Some detail I will apply for accessory now. Accessory, for example. The apple flower. I'm gonna use a, just use green color, green, green, small brush, green. I leave white. Okay, this is a leaf. Immediately, I'm gonna green mix with a blue, like a blue color for the, so this is a, a glass, okay, and some detail, stainless steel receives some reflection because interior lighting source which is warm temperature, so interior, so reflection, a little warm temperature. Okay, 
So this is uh, the, the coffee maker. Okay. Use small brush. Wait a second. Hello? You can see nothing? Nothing? I don't know what's problem. You can hear me, right? Can you hear me? So we let me reconnect. Wait, wait a second, let me reconnect. Take a look at it. I leave a lot of white color. Okay, the white. Now I use a small brush. I'm going to add a flower. Flower. Flower, I just use not, not too strong. I don't want to dominate this space. I just very light. Uh, violet, other the maybe red, a little bit of red mix, a lot of water, a little bit of red color. Or if you want yellow, I just use red. Not too strong. Okay, see, you can see just a little bit red, not, not too many. Okay, keep that more detail. Give it a use small brush. The, I make the this detail for accessory. See the shadow. I mix with the valley color shadow. Okay, you can see we see the shadow and also reflection from the glass. I'm not going to make too many details for outside. Okay, let me still receive the reflection a little bit. Rather make something okay. Yep. Now, okay. Oh, by the way, for the I forgot to do the the countertop. That's fine. Countertop. I can use a. I can print tool. This is marble. Not too many detail. You still need a little bit. Okay, make a little bit detail look like marble top. And also now I'm working, keep working, I use small brush. This is just a detail, detail such as uh, uh, for the ranch. I blend a little bit of blue color. I take away, I always save the save the color, save the color. I'm working for not white color, this range. High reflected. Okay, blend the more color, dark value. Indicated this is a electrical countertop, the branch. Okay. Detail. Detail. Okay. Detail. Okay. Now I'll keep working more detail, like leg, the chair. I, I'm not going to make too many details. Chair leg. Just use dark color. Thank <laughs> you. 
some detail. <laughs> and also the trim, trim, we can go ahead and add more details. The jaw, we can keep this color, the white color. Absolutely with dark color. And also this one, I want to say that this is stainless steel, okay? Stainless steel, the sink, stainless steel sink, stainless steel sink. Accent the color, dark color, dark value, mix with a little warm temperature. Okay, this part is supposed dark color, it's supposed dark. I use a complementary hue to accent. You can work in more detail, accent the color. And also, with the tutor, I work in more detail. Receive the handle, absolutely receive the reflection. Not too many detail. Absolutely, this one, double or oven. I cannot see too many details. Okay. So overall, I get an overall value. So next step, I'm going to make the accent color. Show one picture. I can use a really dark color. If you're missing something, if you want to add ink it, don't be afraid. You go ahead, go ahead and do it. Let me use a dark color. You can see really dark. Let me try. Accent color. Details. By the way, uh, the detail. Okay. And also background. What I say, you don't have to apply too many for this background. Could be something. Okay. I just use a. I prefer just sometimes. I just use warm color, a cool color this time for the background. Look like something happened. Maybe cool, the mix a little bit warm temperature, maybe yellow, do something. You don't have to apply too many detail absolute this part. Maybe living room, we don't know yet. Okay, yeah. Okay, the final touch almost finished. Edge. Reflection, don't forget. I 
wax on the cover. Okay. And also details. Really, I use a really strong color to highlight. And also don't forget the shadow. Here you see the shadow in the treatment. Your typical shadow, really dark color. This is detail. Okay, so last step if you want to add more uh, highlight, like the, what I said, the lighting fixture, the light bubble, just use white. Okay, just use white. Before white, I show one picture. Highlight, use a white color, and use a white color. White. White color. It, it, it totally fine. You you work, if you want working this from. Photoshop, if you if this white cannot read it, white, see white, okay, let you highlight, stand still, also maybe here a little bit, highlight, part, if you're missing for the counter top, the edge and highlight and highlight highlight to here okay and also highlight counter top okay even the floor, hardwood floor. If you want a, a little bit higher, that's fine. If you forget, if you forget to leave white. Okay. For hardware, if you think you want to highlight, go ahead and do that. This is standing still. If this is really not very good, don't be free. Later, apply from Photoshop. Okay. Yep. So now I can stop this drawing.